Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in this episode, I would really like to um, get um, blue and gray science going. As you can see, we have some red and green going quite swimmingly there. Um, and I think it's time for us to get the blue involved. And well, we need a lot of stuff for blue. So first of all, let's start um, researching oil because blue science requires, do we actually have blue science uh, in the list? No, we don't. All right, let's find science pack three. Right, it's with advanced electronics. And to make uh, a science pack three, we're gonna need advanced circuits, which require a new ingredient called plastic bars and plastic is made from oil. So I think I would really like to start researching, um, start with advanced electronics. Uh, well, if we can get there, we actually need something else first, evidently. Ah, yes, we need oil processing. So start on the oil processing train right now. Right. Um, I've deleted all this stuff and we're going to remake it because right now we can actually start using military science. Those are the gray packs like for grenade damage and bullet damage and all this kind of stuff. So I'd like to get that. If you are playing a peaceful game or without biters, um, know that the um, you do actually need military science to launch the rocket because it's uh, it's like rocket shooting speed that's required for that right so we're gonna get our blueprints placed down once again here and we're gonna build gray science and that's going to be the right hand side of this blueprint okay let's go and pick the next thing let's get plastics I'm gonna have to research a whole slew of oil related technologies plastics sulfur processing um, uh, advanced oil processing is later uh, we are going to need fluid handling as well for that we should research flammables because that gives us access to the flamethrower and stuff like that but if you don't um, actually you do need flammables for rocket shooting speed so yeah that's an, another important one to have even if you're not using biters right so we're going to make gray science next and I guess we'll start off with the gray science buildings because why not again we're doing two per second or per cycle whatever you want to call it um, so let's just get these guys here we go. There we go. And I picked up a bunch of stuff at the mall so that we would, well, not enough evidently. Um, <laughs> because, yeah, we're a bit short on iron, which is very disappointing, I have to say. But we're going to fix that in a second. Well, not in a second. In a, in a little while. I should say. All right, let me gra grab these uh, fast um, things. I don't think we need any fast belts over here. Oh, gosh. Well, we do actually. We need them for for blue science. Oh, we do need them for here, though. Right. Okay, we do need some red belts. So let me take a couple of stacks of those. All right, plastics are done. Um, fluid handling. As you can see, with our, our lab speed and number of labs and the production we have, these researchers are taking no time at all. Like, a lot. Of, I, I see a lot of people complain on the forums. Oh, my research is taking forever, and I ask them why is it taking forever? It shouldn't, um, because <laughs> just build more production. Uh, having said that, we we are actually quite short on production ourselves. We need to get this sorted. Um, in particular, this this column here is not good because we have an issue. Guess what the issue is? We're not using enough coal. We're just not using enough coal from here and it's backing up as I, I thought, but eh. we, we probably just have to get more pure lines of, um, of, of these ores first or use up a whole bunch of this coal. Well, we could, uh, how far away is our power generation? I forgot where it is. Oh, here it is. Hello. It is using a lot of coal. We actually need to get probably another miner just to be safe on this. We're only at half performance right now. We could... Oh, actually, it's not that far from the coal, is it? Oh, hello. You know what I could do? I could string this... The um, So these guys are on a, on a nice line here. I could just take it through the forest and have it connect up with this coal. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, right, but first let's do um, gray science. Okay, here we go with this. We're going to need... Uh, let's get sulfur processing, very important. It's really good to get all of the kind of miscellaneous um, oil techs done first. 
And then you can play with all the machines that you'll need. They'll all be at your disposal. And life will be significantly better, you'll see. Um, <laughs> oil is widely regarded as the most tricky part of the game. Um, and it's, it's basically assembly lines, but just in a different way. So it shouldn't actually be that bad, but I am going to walk you through the entire process of setting up a very nice, efficient oil area. Okay, so here is... Oopsies. There we go. Now we have the entirety of the Gray Science Machines set up. I'll just take this belt all the way to the top here. Thank you very much. Sulfur processing done. So this is why I didn't have research on before, because it's just fast. It's fast. Now what do we need for this gray science stuff? We're gonna need, we're gonna need ammo, piercing rounds, we're gonna need grenades, and we're gonna need gun turrets. So I have these set up in the ratio correct form for these things. So wait, that's not there. No, 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 no. There was, there was meant to be a gap there. Okay, and take this off. There we are. So we're gonna set these guys up and have them start producing stuffs. That one from there, and this one goes there. So this one's gonna take iron in for the regular rounds and then spit out the rounds on the next belt. And these guys are all gonna be taking in the rounds. I'll show you how that works here. That's why this is a short belt, do not connect it. Um, right, so let's go and get iron first. Oh, there's a train here, how convenient. We now know what this is for. <laughs> there's a train, right. That one goes that way. And the next belt is going to be steel copper. All right, so what else do we need to research for this? Let's get advanced electronics, definitely required. Um, there we go. Look at all this bunches of, of science coming along. It's so beautiful. Of course, we also have the other labs that are still working. Um, okay, there's this one. So this one is gonna be I think, yeah, we can do that there. Let's put a an opposite side there because we only want this to go on half the belt. Remember, this is going to be, if we look up here, this is steel and copper, okay? So we'll put this like this to take a half a belt for that. Now this is one, two, three, four. So this one is gonna go from here to there like this. We'll cross over that one like that. Now we need steel, so let's go grab the steel. Take this along this way. There we are, perfect. All right, um, research again. What do we need? Engines, yeah, let's get electric engines. Those are good. We can also start getting just all of the, um, the, the, the green reds now. Okay, and as you see, this is only loading half the belt with copper and the rest is going to be with steel. So let's go and look and see how this process is working over here. Right, so this guy is grabbing, um, uh, what do you call this stuff? <laughs> iron, iron, and transforming it into these lovely little things. Um, and then here, once we get the steel, we'll be able to output this onto this belt. Take this along this way. Okay, cool. And here we're gonna have these nice things going. There they go. There they go. They're all outputting their. Whoa! Whoops! I that was a mistake. I don't know if that's. I have to check if that's in the blueprint because that's not right. It ain't right if it is. Well, we can always collect the stray bits later if needed. All right. Let's get this connected up. I missed a power pole there. Okay, it looks like it, it wasn't, uh, that was the only couple of pieces there. Any extra bits that I have, I can just feed into these machines. Okay, let's get this one here, that one there. Just put these other power poles down for the next ingredient, which is going to be grenades. Okay. In retrospect, I feel like I shouldn't even have built this like mini, um, stuff maker over here because all of this is being produced in this area. We have turrets, we've got grenades, um, and we have also ammo. 
So, okay, let's do science again. Wow, we have stuff. Uh, let's get mining productivity. This is really good. Mining productivity is awesome because basically it allows you to get a bonus on your miners without any penalty. There's no speed penalty, nothing. It's just free uh, materials. And this bonus can get very, very high indeed. Normally by the end of the game, I'm at like, you know, plus 30 or 50%, depending. I mean, I know 2% doesn't sound like a lot, but it all adds up as you keep researching stuff. Okay, so there's our ammo production sorted out. That's going very, very well. Now on the opposite side of this belt, we wanna place grenades because as you see, we have two belts here that are feeding the gray science. Um, one is going to have the piercing rounds and grenades, and the other is going to have gun turrets. So we'll get to that in just a second. But first, we need to get these guys going along here. Now, this is a red belt because it needs the extra quickness to get the coal and, uh, and iron along this line because it needs a significant amount of coal to make these grenades. And I think I calculated it that it needed more than, than I could supply on a yellow because it needs 10 coal every eight seconds. And we have a number of machines here, quite a lot of machines. So we can, this will actually work if we have it uh, fed on a red belt. There we go. More science is getting done. Yeah, let's get that one as well. Okay, and here we have this. Let's put iron on one side. And I'm going to put coal on a red belt, I think. There we go, because I don't think we actually need much iron. It's mostly the coal that is suffering onward. Now, where is the coal? Do we have a coal belt at all? Oh my god, we have no coal belt. <laughs> I think this was going to be our coal belt right here, that one. Um, let me find where to get coal. Let's see. We can get it. There's actually a nice coal mine or a coal patch there. Um, alternatively, I could grab it from the, um, the smelting area. I could do that. that. That would be just fine. In fact, I could grab it in several different places. Though this one... Yeah, we, we could grab it from, we could grab it from here, actually, that would be all right. We left, which belt? Right under the stone. I think the one under the stone is just fine. Okay, we'll use the one under the stone. Oh, this is perfect. This has got a full belt of coal. Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to grab this thing. We're going to take this up to be, actually, this does not need to be red. It can be yellow. Um, one, two, three, four. There we go. This is like the perfect situation here with this. Let's just take these belts along here. Great. I don't want to get too close to those trees because they're soon to be decimated by grenades. Yes. I could turn on the termite bots actually while I'm doing this. That would be okay to get those going on here. Right. Now, I want to figure out where to put these things. Okay. Oh, it was this belt right here. Okay. Great. Good to know. And let's get our nice... Do, 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 up here. And science. Let's get some science done. Oh, there's more productivity. I don't know why I didn't research this uh, mining productivity before. It probably was unlocked by a particular science that I didn't have. Oh, um, right. I'm going to do something like this. Just walk around a little bit and get these trees done. Done and dusted. Completely to dust. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, good, good, good. Nice. Okay. Uh, right. I don't, I actually I don't think we need that. I think what we do need is we just need the full belt coming up here, basically. It doesn't actually have to be red. Ooh, no, that's wrong. Wrong. 
Right. This is better. There we go. I'm going to leave those as red for now. Let's see, this is going along right. So it's basically going to take the whole of that yellow belt and shove it on this line. Um, see how nice and compressed it is? So these guys are going to be able to take all the coal they need uh, and then spit out grenades for us after eight seconds of work. I think it's eight seconds, right? Or is it six? No, it's eight seconds. Good. Right. So now, here we go. Are you working? You're working. You're making... Oh my god, electricity is down. Oh boy. We had we have a problem. Slight problem. Oh boy, there's not enough coal. Um Okay, let's quickly, quickly take our train to that area. Right, so go to smelting, please. Oh dear. I, I haven't added the station yet. Alright, go to smelting. Um so do 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 Yep, go. And then, then you can go to the mall. That's fine. Um item count. I really wish there was a way to like move things up because you can't at the moment. Let's go to smelting real quick and get this sorted out because this is bad. Very, very bad. Okay. First of all, I'm going to... Where's the connection for power? We can look at the connections on the uh, minimap here. And it looks like it's to here for basically the whole factory. So let's shut off the factory first. Because basically what's happening is we're in a death spiral, a power death spiral, caused by not enough power to the miners. As you can see, the red power bar is super low. Um, and yeah, we can't even mine enough coal right now for our factory. So let me let's take this connection away. And then this connection away. Okay, and we'll just, right, this is still not powered. Oh, that's right. Okay, it's because, okay, all of this is unpowered, and that's on purpose. I want these guys to be mining coal like crazy, but in the meantime, get these guys going there, right, and belts. Yes, must have belts. Okay, I don't want that one connected. Okay, this is just fine. This is a minimal amount of the factory to be connected. Right, so if we look at our power stats, let me just... Wow, yeah, it's we're going to get more though because basically we are... Uh, oh, it doesn't show the previous because I disconnected the power. <laughs> Basically, we're on a separate network now. Oh, oh, and I want to get out of these nano termite things. Oh, God. <laughs> They're not good. Not, not for our purposes right now. Okay, so the other thing that I want to do is... Uh, yeah, now we need nano termites. Yo, right here. This whole area, thank you. Good termites. Nice. Okay, we're going to take this coal line here and shove it outward. And go. Nice. Termites, you did a good job. And here we are. Now, someone showed me a really interesting uh, new little structure for this. And I've blueprinted it. I, well, actually, they blueprinted it. Thank you very much. And I forget who it was. I really apologize for that. But it's really cool. It's, um, it's a different format. So the other one we have is like a side one, which goes this way, which this would perfectly fit here like that. Um, but there's another version here that you can use. Um, it's an inline one that looks kind of like this. So let me just, I, I underestimated the size of the thing here. So let's put it here and um, just make the thing go. It's basically the same exact thing, except a slightly different orientation. Basically, this one is inline and the other one goes from the side. It takes kind of exactly the same amount of materials anyway. Um, but anyway, this is, this is how this works. But actually... Um, no, I want to I want to use this one first. So this is the wrong way um, <laughs> It's the wrong way <laughs> God. Right I um, Let's see this one 
want this one to go... Um, that way. No! We're gonna, we're gonna ad-lib this here. I'm gonna take this one to go this way. So you can do these on a corner as well. I'm being very careful not to do something like this because that is exactly what I don't want. Um, because when you do something like this, this only has a chance to go on that side of the belt. So this is absolutely wrong. Uh, you have to be very careful about how you add belts and don't add them at corners and stuff like that if you want them to go to a particular side. Okay, so this is going to solve our problem, I think, of these chests there being over, <laughs> um, over inundated with materials. I think I would like to, let's get our, our power lines going along this way and just be very clear on how we want this to connect. Don't know, is that the right line of power lines? Probably, looks about right. Yeah, I think it is, right, cool. All right, let's just take these over and we'll get the, uh, the actual line here connected. There we go. Okay, life is now much better. We now have the ability to have power. Now, someone was complaining to me or saying to me that, oh, don't you know that burner inserters take the most amount of power? It's irrelevant, um, honestly, because I want these to function whether there is electricity or not. And if there's no electricity, they can't pick up stuff. Uh, basically, regular inserters won't work. So we need the burner inserters there, uh, or at least I prefer to have them on at least one full um, smelting column. Now, on other columns, you can you can use fast inserters or regular inserters or whatever you want. Uh, but I think it's really important to have it at, on at least one uh one steam engine column. Did I say smelting column? I meant steam engine column. Whatever this thing is that creates all the power. Um, so now, oh, this is lovely. Look at this. Oh my goodness. We've run out of coal. Oh, that's right. It's because it was being used but not replenished. Oh, and see, our sorting system is back in business once again. Fan-dang-tastic. This is great. Okay. So now we would be in, in danger of running out of uh, space on these other... Um, chests which we're really not doing because we're using all of this material all right so now let's get back to our gray science again let's go to the labs um train stop seems like a good spot to go you know what let's stop at the mall instead wait go to the mall please because i've I'm, I'm noticed i'm i'm really short on uh, blue inserters and here we are. Hey, you know what I should do? I should make a very fancy train stop with like a little red carpet, you know, for all the, the mall. Oh my God, that's a lot of fast inserters. Really? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God, it took half of all of them. No. Oh, I should really look in these boxes before I just take a whole bunch of stuff. Um, that's where I'm getting in trouble, seems like it. All right, let's go. I'm just going to put this on manual mode for now. Okay, mining productivity is finished. All right, there we are. Nice. I should take the other engine because uh, this one always puts me on the wrong side. Okay, so as you see, we have grenades getting made. They are all chugging along quite nicely. Let's check out our research again. Um, next, next one requires blue science. We can't do that. But we can also start solar energy. That might be pretty handy for all of these um, accidental power outages that we're having right now. Okay, the next component we're going to make. Oh, the other thing is, um, do I have? No, I don't have them here. But these are these are a good example here of direct feeding. So let's put these there. And when you look at the ratios of when, uh, of how many of the turret assemblers you need per gear assemblers, and remember, I looked up a lot of these things on Helmod. Um, boy, didn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, basically, it gives you a ratio, and I think, let's count them up. Let's see what it gave me, because I kind of forgot how many it was. 
Okay, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these turret machines per uh, seven gear machines. So it just makes sense to put them in between each other and then feed from one machine to another. And that way it also um, saves us some space on the belts for gears because these guys eat a heck of a lot of gears. They need, uh, well, they need 10 gears each, basically, which is kind of a lot. So we don't have to put the gears on the belts because uh, they're direct fed in. Okay, solar energy is done. Uh, stack inserters, yes, please. We also need batteries. That should be another, another thing that we want. Okay, let's get these belts added as well. There we go. Okay, and then turrets are gonna go on their own belt. A little bit lonesome, but that's okay. They'll, they'll be okay, hopefully. No, this way. There we go. Oh no, that was the wrong way. <laughs> Shoot. I shouldn't have done it so fast. Okay. Okay, and there's stack inserters. Get some more stack inserter bonuses. Excuse me. Let's take this belt down. It's faster. There we go. Alrighty, so let's get materials that are needed. Watch these. And I am anxious to get proper robots. They will be a lot of fun. Okay. And I looks like we're going to need two, um, two belts of iron here because of the huge amounts of iron that are required, uh, which is kind of nice. Yeah, they need 20 iron per turret um, and then 10 gear wheels, which is two iron a piece. So much iron required. And we are really going to need to <laughs> ramp up iron production. I feel like... Oh man, when should we do this? We should, I probably the next episode. Otherwise people will start saying, whoa, you need serious iron. And yes, you'd be right. Okay, so this one is gonna go there. And we are going to redo the split offs from the main bus as well, because as you can see, this is not working very well. Um, we just have way too many things drawing on, drawing off the lines. I want this copper. There we go. Um, I'm going to redo it so that each area gets its own stuff and we're going to draw from multiple uh, lanes on the line. But we also need in that whole instance, there's a lot of things that have to happen at once. We're going to need patches to be um, mined and imported into a train station so that we can get all of these things functional. Oh, wow, that's a nice set of patches there. Well, five million, eh, it's kind of horrible amount, but um, here, that's what I'm talking about. 17 million there. Um, those are small-ish, but they're in a safe area. We don't really have to, probably don't have to kill this by the What is our pollution like? Looks like it's okay for now. Right. We also need, you know what I need to do? Put out radars. I'm so tired of this area being like invisible. It's not a radar. It's a gun turret. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Let's go up here. I don't know where the other radar coverage ends. I've been kind of putting them in a loose grid formation. There we go. Boom. Nope. Put it there and grab our long distance power poles. Okay, so that's gonna give us sight. Perfect, in this area so we can check on things up here. Okay, now we got our inserter capacity bonus. Yeah, do another one, that's fine. Okay, and we have stuff coming along and the iron is down to a trickle, it is miserable. Uh, let's go ahead and put in some of the inserters here that we need. I feel like I'm like slalom skiing here. <laughs> Just putting these inserters on either end here. There we go. Okay, nice. 
and then we'll get the oh actually those are both the same direction good I should have put them across so I could just quickly drag them not sure why I didn't do that it doesn't really matter I suppose I'll just put them so I don't have to move the ghosts but I might change that later on I think I copied um, one blueprint a couple of times okay and here we have turrets as you see there they are, tiny little turrets over here. And soon enough, we shall be having gray science. Hooray! Now, what else do we want? We want batteries. Batteries are part of oil. Very important to research those. Okay, and where did that turret go? Oh, it's still over here. Yeah, we should soon be seeing some gray science put on the line and we'll start to fill up this next belt. And I'll show you how that works with the belt braiding uh, because it is very impressive looking. They Basically, they'll go on this belt here and we'll see the little gray flasks um, go in that direction. Okay, where is... Okay, here we go. It's working. It's doing stuff. There we go. We can follow that first flask down <laughs> if we want to. Oh, that's right. It does. Um, it does two. Um, per craft, which is quite nice. Uh, so this one actually creates two flasks. All right, let's get um, right accumulators. Very important. I thought accumulate. Oh, accumulators do require oil. They require batteries, um, but they are researched with red and green science. Okay, so here they go. There they go, following along. Okay, and. There they go. You can barely see them, but it goes through this this uh, yellow. There we go. Nice. I'm excited about this. This is good. Oh, and I think I forgot to explain about what happens here. Basically, what happens is that this is one of the only loop systems I ever use in a factory because normally it's fairly um, inefficient to use a loop. But because science packs require different ones at different times, um, you can circulate them around to be put in the machines. And what this is doing is it's taking the intake belt from here and merging it with the, um, the, the belt that goes around the entire structure. So basically it replenishes the supply, um, but because of the way splitters work, reds are always gonna go on the left and greens are on the right because they are pure half-half uh, lines here or half belts of product. So you can do this to, to merge those all in. And basically that's what all of these are. They all are merging systems for when we get all of our seven science packs made. Okay, next thing to do, nanobot range and speed. How nice. Let's get flight. What do we need to robotics? Um, robotics, yeah, that's good. Flight is good too. We'll get all the things eventually, I promise. Okay, so now we have military science. We helped out power a bit with the coal supply. Uh, looks like uh, the pollution is traveling further. Nothing getting to that base yet, but these are going to be unhappy soon-ish. I could probably stand to put some more radars out here and get more vision of this area. Uh, just check it out a bit. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so I think... I think the next episode has got to be getting more iron because this iron is just not happy. Oh my god, it's horrible. It's just awful. Really is very, very bad. Um, right, let's get flight going on. So anyway, I think that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.